everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today is lesson number four of our five lesson package for beginners, and today we're going to talk about how to pitch the ball. This is going to be a little bit different than our part three, which was chipping, and we're just going to change a few things in the setup, and I'm going to go over that and how we transition from that little chip shot where we did, if you remember, the little clock from seven to five. Our weight was on our front foot about 80% and we're just keeping our hands and our body really quiet just swinging it like a pendulum. Okay today we're going to introduce a little bit more of a normal stance that we will have when we actually learn how to do a bigger swing and that is our feet are going to be a little bit wider uh, just like in a normal swing and our weight is going to be 50-50 okay it's not going to be leaning on the left side. So the pitch shot when you're playing golf is when you're further off the green, 30, 40, 50 yards. Chipping is when you're just barely off the green. So this is a great way. I'm gonna give you a system of how to practice that's worked for me and all the years I've been teaching beginners. And I'm gonna give you a game plan of how to successfully practice. So if you do mess up, I'm gonna give you an idea of what you need to do to get back on track. All right, so let me show you some shots here. First, I'm gonna put the ball position in the middle. Get in the stance, we'll go through our gap system, grip, aim, posture. Remember our checkpoint here. And then really, I got the clubs down here for alignment. That red flag's about 30 yards away. But I'm gonna start out 50-50, ball position in the middle. And I always want you to learn to go halfway back where this club is on the line here, okay? And if you can see this, this is pointing at my belly also. That means we're gonna initiate a turn. We're gonna start moving the body now at this point. So a lot of times a good little checkpoint I have for beginners is keep your head here on the ball, but if you were going to give somebody a handshake back here, how would you do that? You know, you would turn, you wouldn't just go hands, you know, you would go like that, okay? So similar thing here, just want to go here, okay? So a little bit of weight shifts. We're going to maintain our knee flex, so our right knee needs to stay flexed while we do this, okay? All right, when we come through, we're going to shift a little bit of weight, and we're going to come, we're going to do 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock on this first swing, okay? So we're going to go back here and then through here, okay? Okay, that was pretty good. All right, then just, you notice I'm using a T also. I should have mentioned that. I think you should really, really, really use a T in the beginning just to build upon some confidence on hitting the ball. I know it's when we out in the fairway, the rules of golf, we got to play off the ground, but right now you're just trying to develop some sense of, uh, you know, confidence and learning how to hit the ball, and eventually we'll get it on the ground. But I think starting out, you should do that, tee it up every time to gain some confidence. Okay? So you can see, what, right here to right here. All right, now if they needed to go a little further, the second step, I'd go 9L which we go here and then we'll add a little hinge. All right, so let's talk about that for a second. That's where it gets extremely tricky. Okay, the hands in the golf swing work like this. When we use our hinge, we're gonna go this way, just like a hammer. We do not wanna go this way or that way, okay? Because if we go this way back, then we're gonna flip through it, which is not good. Okay, so when I come through it, my weight's gonna shift over. I'm still gonna be in that three o'clock position. About another 10 yards okay so those are two of the ideas what I was gonna say is if you're messing up I made that look easy uh, you know if you start miss hitting it it's a little rigid what I'm doing but right now you need to be in control and as you get better with uh, the mechanics you will get more rhythm and motion in your swing but if you have complications with doing that body shift and you're not hitting the ball back back down go to what we did in lesson three lesson three which was the chipping, put the weight forward, feel the handstand ahead, and then hit a couple solid that way, then go back to the pitching, okay? And that'll get you back on track. Okay, I wanted to get this angle in, so now you can see my system here. I got the rod down here, you can see from a ball placement. Uh, then I got the rod here. This, this really helps visually when you're starting out, like where is this at in my stance? You know, just the basic uh, rules of like ball flight for ball placement, 
If you played it forward in your stance, you would hit the ball higher up in the air. We're gonna start out in the center just to keep everything simple, okay? And then if you wanted to play it back in the stance, that would make the ball go lower. But for training purposes and just starting out so we can take this to a bigger swing, I want you to go in the middle of your stance. So you can see from this angle here, my feet are right underneath my hips. Okay, toes are slightly flared out. I get a really strong base. Okay, and then I am just keeping my legs really solid and my waist will turn, but it's very subtly. And this is pointing at my belly button. So that's important. If you start, most people want to do this and this is what we call getting disconnected. And a lot of your great teachers of all time will argue one of the most important parts of the whole swing besides the impact position is the takeaway. If you can get that takeaway correct, that will help you in so many ways. So I can't emphasize how important it is. So I want you to understand that. So our head's gonna stay still and we're gonna turn slightly here. And you can see the club face, the toe of the club is pointing up. Okay, so let's talk about that. Our toe here is pointing up. So if we get halfway back, right here, if I turned around, my club face is in the same position, okay? So if I went back and I went like this, if I turned and faced that, that face is pointing way left or in the ground, that's how it's gonna come back and impact, which is left, okay? So we want the club to be pointing where it's toe up like this. All right, so let's do a couple shots here. I'm gonna do the nine o'clock to three o'clock. Okay? And again, this is not the smoothest. I'm just trying to show you robotically and mechanically how to do this, okay? Now the other one is gonna be the one where we go nine o'clock with the little hinge, okay? Again, the hinge works like that. Okay, so let's do that. Get my feet set in here, ball placement in the center. So we go back and a little hinge. Okay, and that went, like we did that one, that went another 10 yards just by adding just a little bit of hinge. So look at that, look at the movement. Uh, one thing for rhythm, I know this is a little stiff, but if we can keep the rhythm like one, two, a smooth acceleration going through it, we don't wanna be jabby, we don't wanna, we wanna have the rhythm be one, two, okay? That's very important. So again, if you have trouble with this, go back, back down to a smaller shot when you start having trouble, okay? For more great blogs and blogs, please check out barnhillgolf.com.